weren't you? Well, you're back. Care to buy something? How does how does the how does the chainmail doesn't have poise? What happened to the poise, ladies and gentlemen? What the hell happened to the poise? I don't have enough money to do anything. Dude, I'm not playing blind. But where do you get the crimsons? The crimsons. All the crimsons. The flasks. I know you could get in in certain areas. I think the max you could get is like 20 or something. Guide the gatekeeper. Resolves returning the roots. There. I can make a really OP build. I'm just, just, I don't know, I could play a lot of different games. I like Baldur's Gate a lot, but I'm literally a Souls guy, and I like Miyazaki from Soft Games, except Sekiro. I have no inclination to play Sekiro. None whatsoever. Oh, look at that. Look at you have a UK view. I don't have any armor or anything. Sky. If I could get his hat, then I could just drop his hat. You cheeky bastard. Oh, wow, you hit me. What is this? Give me some fashion, brother. Damn.
do 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 really loud, you know? It's probably the first cave you get into. There's the boss right there. Grave glow fort. The summoning pool is now Functional. Literally gonna die, aren't I? Jump down, sir. Jump down, jump down. There we are. That's my friend. Smithing stone. They could drop a couple of items there. Now he disappeared. What? What? Did you guys see that? <laughs> That's right, die, motherfucker.
trick is to make them follow you and shoot the arrow. But you cancel that. Right, here we go. That is the most bogus thing. I fucking got trapped in this stupid fucking. <clears throat> oh. I got trapped in the in the fucking thing, dude. Damn it, stop getting stuck in the damn thing. What are you doing here? How did he get here so fucking fast, dude? Try this again, okay? Oh my goodness. What the hell? Touch that, do you? Oh, what? <laughs> I forgot it was on. <laughs> I forgot it was on, dude. And the moment that I go there. shoots at me I could as soon as I try to turn around it literally didn't work <sighs> man that is terrible I lose my souls my souls that I I really thought that I had time to shoot that I don't understand why I didn't have time to shoot that 
Why wouldn't it have time to shoot that? Why do they come so fast? Why do they actually come so fast? I mean, dude, I'm over here just fucking trying to shoot this. That's all I'm trying to fucking do, man. Did everything good? I should have done that. Damn it, dude. The blood signs are fucking my shit up. Oh my. What? Two more? <laughs> dude. Two. Why didn't they come out when I shot? When I shot? Makes no sense whatsoever. Look, I can't believe it. Let's do it then. No. Still one by one, huh? Amazing that the lock on. Did it lock on by itself? <coughs> That's what I'm curious. Did it lock on by itself? and sold back. Dun, 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 dun. Why am I doing this? Okay, look, there's a guy in here. There, that guy. I hate that, the reach. Okay. 
Why does it turn to the left, man? This is sensitivity, man. Skillful motherfucker. Wandering noble ashes. So where's the key? Where's the switch? Where's the switch, mister? Oh, great. No fucking switch.
time for a fight now. I can't even do it. Look, I can't even move until that shit stops. Just like them, bleed the shit out of these fucks. I'm having trouble with the lock on for some reason. I didn't want to get that drop actually. I want to get the. I mean, oh, am I getting two more? But like one more sickle. What am I getting a sickle? But I'm gonna do a wield in some nice bleed. bleed build you could actually get. Now if I could just uh, take this off because I can't use it. I'll put this back on. Yeah. Okay, let me try something really quick. So if I kill this guy... See how I kind of went away, even though I was locked on? Watch. Watch, I'm locked on. Oh, I think that's the moves. Okay, these guys could drop a mask, which is really good. Try to get that mask. It's a nice little mask. I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh shit. What the fuck, dude? Okay. So I think I need to go back with, uh, with Rage. No, I can't because it's the kick. Which one has the kick? It's just war. Kick. Where does it see? Yep, kick. This one is difficult. Mm. 
it's this one that's difficult, man. It's just that one that's there on the left. He's not going to drop it. Might as well just go over here. I wonder how many souls I need to level up. It seems like I got I got back my two thousand five hundred and I'm not that far away from it. I truly haven't done anything here but get globe words. No fashion whatsoever. Like where the hell am I gonna get some fashion? I can't even level up. I just want to get back my 2,000 souls. Dude, he... Look, man. All I did was just run away from him, and he blocked my path. I literally rolled left and right. This game is too big. Well, I created a new character just so that, that we could co-op together. I haven't even leveled up at all. I got the player's guides. I want to get all of the the flask of Christmas trees. <clears throat> the, the red ones there, not the blue ones. Not the Cerulean Falcon. Uh, I want to get the Christmas trees. I've done it before. I have the player's guides, but the player's guides, I usually look at them at work when I was a cashier in a booth, and I used to uh, I used to make, like, a, a planner, and I used to literally fucking, like, have listed everything. I listed everything that I needed, and I had, a, like, a blueprint of, like, a build and where to get things. I did that for Fallout 3. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was like basically studying games. And I have the player's guides. And it shows where they are. And I could I could work in conjunction with them. But it's more interactive, like a camera, like a real, real good stream. But I need a camera to show it. I don't know if you've seen it, but there was a uh, product being announced. Uh, being announced that you could move the camera freely instead of a shitty ass uh, coat hanger or whatever and then it, you could move it to like a book so you could like read it it's a new product but they're offering too much money for it dude they're like over three hundred dollars all right i might as well just do it uh, do it yourself you know a, D, a dui and shit So tell me, Mr. Donut Fam, I've been trying to watch your streams. It's, you know, like the last time I seen you playing the Elden Ring. And I understand. It's better just to play offline. Because Twitch is a little trippy, you know. Oh. 
this motherfucker is OP as fuck, though. So I. I yeah. It's really long. I don't know how far you're into the game. But I created a character. I know how to play the game. So I know maybe some somebody in chat saying, damn, this guy's a casual. Dude, I'm not a casual. I'm casually playing the game. Because I played it for a long time. I usually play games to the point where it's like, okay, I like this and I like that. And that's it. Like Baldur's Gate? Yeah, I really like that shit, you know, but I got to the point on my Soul Level 1 that I just uh, never went back to it like I do with every other game. But I like great adventures, you know, I like to be in control of myself. I like to be in control of my bowel movements. So yeah, they killed me and they took 2,500 souls away from me. So what I'm doing is I'm grinding them back. I'm grinding my souls back, brother. Let me let me tell you how to get good in this game, brother. I'm gonna show you how to get good in this game. This game is is ex is extensive. It's extensive, just like my penis. It's extensive. It's extremely extensive. Look at this guy doing the footies with me. But what you need to, this game is, is very punishing, sir. Extremely punishing. You literally carry me through this. I don't care. This game is so big, I don't like it. It is, dude. It doesn't have a distinct point of path. It has millions of paths. Well, I like the open world part. See, the thing is, this game is, uh, is, is broken down in three parts. The underworld, the underworld, there's an underworld, and then there's maps, there's tunnels, shit ton of them. So the underworld, the open world, tunnels, and different areas. I was trying to kill the golden horse guy right when I got out of the field, but that's a beauty. They put him there just to fuck you up, sir. Look, I don't even have any clothes on. Look at that. So what I usually do in this game, I try to get to the round table, but the, the maiden doesn't want to talk to me. She hasn't sent me to the round table to level up. <laughs> you was trying to do that? The, the trick to this is co-op, brother. Like, okay, look, look. You see these little symbols here, brother? You see these little, uh, little symbols here? You see when you start here in the first church, the first step, you see these little like uh, indicators to where to go? Follow them. Follow them. Those are uh, uh, main quests. So if you just wanna like enjoy the game, why aren't they bonfires? Uh, they are, well, they're called uh, the first steps, but they're bonfires essentially, you know, souls games. And then you could do all kind of stuff. But what I'm saying, these these aren't bonfires. These are like uh, sacred trails, and they direct you to where you need to go next. So don't don't feel lost. Don't feel lost. You see how it's dictating you, dictating you. It dictates you to go this way, and it dictates you to go this way. Just do that. You'll be fine, sir. Trust me. If you you don't want to waver from the path, just follow the sacred ashes trail. And you should be good, brother. And if you want to waver out of the path, well, good luck. And that 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 should be a little bit. You got it. it should give you a better understanding of what to do. That's just main. Just think think about them as main quest uh, indicators. And you should be fine. Because people had trouble. Well, they already been there. But people were like, where do I go? Where do I go? Obviously, those little thingies. It's just the breath of the wild part that's putting, putting, uh, putting you off. But other than that, I love it. Yeah, it has a lot of breath of the wild stuff. Uh, give it a, give it a, give it a couple of, uh, give it a couple of weeks to see. It's overwhelming, dude. Yeah, everyone felt the same way. 
I got the player's guides, and then uh, YouTube is kind of helpful, but spoilery. I'm trying to reach the round table. M Melania needs to tell me, and go to the round table, but she doesn't fucking talk to me. She doesn't talk to me. She doesn't care about me. I want to go level up. Look at this guy's a little bitch. See, I already got his one of his weapons. I already have one of his weapons, and it's a uh, forked hatchet. But I need 14 dexterity, and this one does a lot of bleed. It causes blood loss. Build up 50. So he dropped it, and he also drops his helmet, which gives you an, a boost in the stats. Oh, and I'm basically here. I'm basically right here in the Stormfoot Catacomb. So what I decided to do, considering I got the player's guides finally from Amazon, even though I played the game before, I want to only do Limb Grave. How's uh, co-op work? Uh, is it only for bosses? No, co-op is... Uh, Co-op is for anything. I, I could I could help you in the open world. I could help you anywhere in bosses. We just put a password. Like we could actually do literal. What's the password? Donut fam, right on. So I put donut fam. Like where is that shit, anyways? Yeah, you could do anything. Oh, here's the multiplayer aspect here. So you, uh, you I put down my sign or something like that. And there's the password right there to the right. You can put multi passwords and stuff like that. I have the player's guide, so uh, I have literally the the player's guide. The first one is the is a compendium. No, first one is a it's a topography of the land of everything that's in it. The second one is item descriptions. I just got that item description one. And the first one is basically like every fucking map, every location, what you get in those locations. It is epic. Like right here, I could go to the, the player's guide and look what's in here and what boss it is. And we could find out before we even get to the fucking boss. So you will. So, so that's really cool, uh, but we'll see the boss right now. I just want to get 2,000 souls because they killed me and they took 2,000 souls away from me. So I'm salty and I want to get my 2,000 souls back and in, in the process, maybe they'll drop their, their fork or their helmet, their little head helmets because I, I I'm desperately need a fashion. I don't have a single article. So I'm just going to do limb grave. I'm not going to go get out of limb grave. I'm not going to get out of limb grave until I feel like it. But don't worry, you're not lost. I have the player's guide. You have any question or anything? I, I'm sure YouTube is there. Hey, dude, let me ask you a question on YouTube. Are you getting those pop-ups? Do you use ad block? Are you getting those pop-ups -up, pop that say YouTube doesn't allow ad block? Shit like that. It's a brand new thing. They're starting to implement that shit. And I heard they could ban you for that in the future. Yeah, I'm getting that now. Still working for now. Yeah, still working. Like, all you do is just click it. Oh, look. There it is. Pillage corpse. What do you think it is? Souls? His helmet? Or another one of those little fickles? You know, little fickles that they dropped? smithing stones that's another thing they could drop great i could upgrade so what i do i usually uh, don't upgrade anything i pick barbarian that's still level one and uh, and then i buy another uh, another club and then i do wield and then i, I put kick on because kick it's uh it's good for people that are shielding like enemies that that shield there's this enemy that is the worst enemy in my book he he tears me he destroys me and he has a lot of poise and he shields up every single time he's a punk ass i hate his ass it's my worst enemy he's the dudes and the he's the dudes that help um they're like ghosts 
there, some are gold, some are not. We have shields and big swords. So I decided to go with uh, with what I like the most. It's kick. <laughs> it doesn't work on these little fucks. <laughs> getting, getting the now, still working for now. Yes, they're uh, about the little things I said. Yeah, I'm, I'm really concerned. They're almost, almost shy of two thousand. They killed me real bad. Du -du. I was hoping to get the mask because I'm in the, I'm in, I'm right now casually playing it to get fashion. I'm not going over there. To, I'm not going over there because if I go over there, I'm gonna die and lose all these souls. What's the What's the big deal? Which is only two thousand souls. The boss fought. He already opened the door. So th so this is the first place you could go. So you, look, this is this is the first step, right? There is there's this tunnel here. There's, I go to the coastal cave so that I could get to the to the church of the dragon communion so you could you, every time you kill a dragon you could give that soul to this um, um, pedestal altar and then uh, you could get spells so you the way you get there is go to the coastal cave from the first step if you're interested in doing the like early shit i'm talking about like day one shit <laughs> you know like casual day one like what the hell am i supposed to do well what i usually do is uh i go there's this guy over here called cali his name is cali where is that son of a bitch he's a little bitch ass and then cali what he does He's a hidden bush. I don't know if you saved him. Where is he anyways? Could he be over here somewhere about? Could he be over here somewhere about? He... It's just some kind of like a quest thingy. And what he does, he gives you the simstress ho-ass trick. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, don't worry about that. That's just that's just Twitch being sensitive, you know, because I have those uh, things. He's a whole ass trick. He gives you this. I don't know if I could show it to you, but I want to show it to you so you could understand what I'm talking about. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I don't think he's it's in this in this inventory. Okay, 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 okay. I just been grabbing shit. These upgrade your uh, your spirits. And there's two types. Right? There's two types. Not not two types of these, like literally like uh, if I could go more down, there's another globe ward. One is for uh, spirit summons and ones are for human summons. Got that? So I only have these for like ghost summons. And then I already have, I need one more to fully, you need 12 of each. So, so for example, if, if I want to upgrade a weapon to plus three, I need 12. They want to upgrade a weapon to plus six. I need 12 of these and then et cetera, et cetera. So you basically just think about it. Every th third level, you need 12, 12 to 12 to three, 12 to six, 12 to nine, 12 to 12, motherfucker. And then 12 to 15, 12 to 18 and 12 to 21, 12 to 23. And that's where I lost my math. But yeah, I think the max level is 24, 25, but that's way later. You could only fully upgrade some shit in the early levels to like plus 14 or some shit. So remember, if you if you have 12 of whatever smithing stones, it will give you, just use them up. 12 levels up, 3 levels. That's the way it does it. So basically just get 12, motherfucker. So I'm, I'm shy of one to fully upgrade it up to reinforce armaments up to three plus three. It says it right there in the items effect, man. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> and these right here, th these, uh, they open shit. They're really good. I try not to use them so much. Ah, there, there it is. Crafting kit. I got this thing. I got the 
tailoring tools enables armor adjustment at sites of grace so once you save that dude Kali or whatever he gives you the the damn the sewing machine <laughs> For the lack of better words, what they used to do to sew back in the the needle, right? He gives you the sewing needle, and then it's really nothing, really, but it's something you could do it ASAP. And where where Kali, you have to meet him in a bush. He's a hidden bush. He's a hidden bush somewhere in the world. The scene. He's a, his mother was a seamstress, and uh, he ends up coming over here to the coastal cave after you. Um, after you hit the bush, because he's hiding in a bush. You can hear him calling you. He's like, hey, my name is Cowboy. Come help my ass. I'm a motherfucker. I'm a motherfucker. And then, and then he, uh, he ends up going to this cave here. And then you kill the boss. When you kill the boss of that cave, you can go to the Dragon Covenant. If you don't see Kali there chilling, then you done fucked up. You didn't meet him over here in the bushy area. Where he's actually hiding, so basically you could you could tailor your weapons, you could tailor them. In other words, you could change their color. You could take the capes off. I think you only take the capes off. I know I'm just rambling, but like I said, I'm just casually playing the game. I mean, I've been playing this game since it came out. I don't speed run it, but I'm a I'm a, a, a builder, a crafter builder. I build builds, and what I'm thinking of doing is just uh, casually playing the game and see what transpires. <clears throat> For me personally, sold games are more about the the RPG aspects. Oh, I got the fork touch, and now I could do will that, and then I have to upgrade to uh, level 14. See what I'm saying? That's a perfect example of what I was just saying literally like right now these serve me well right they serve me well now I, I in order to do will these i think i need i need i need plus oh shit i could do will these motherfuckers <laughs> hey dude i became one i became them you see how easy this game is? Uh, now I just made a build, a bleed build, 50 build uh, passive effects. But I need to level up to 14 now. Should I do that? I'm pretty OCD and anal about me leveling up. Like, I don't want to level up. Level up, truth. That being a scrub. Well, that's why I'm over here attacking these dudes so I can level up, brother. <coughs> <coughs> oh shit, that, is that, the, is that the, the, the helmet? Smithing stones. Now I can fully upgrade one weapon to plus three. There we are. You see what I'm saying? Now I could fully upgrade at least one weapon to plus three because I have 12 of those small smithy stones and I'm just in the first fucking area I'm like damn truth that's fucking OP as fuck dude like that's not that's not casual that's like meta PVE strats yeah I know there's my 2,000 souls but we did not get the helmet ladies and gentlemen so we're gonna get the fuck out of here we're not even gonna fight the boss because I'm gonna lose those souls I went in there with 2,000, I came out with 2,000. How about that? <laughs> hey, that was my OCD, dude. I could not leave that room without 2,000 souls because I came in with 2,000. I'm leaving with 2,000, damn it. Yeah, we could play together. 2K in, in, in this bitch. Hey, <laughs> dude, I'm going to have to let go of the... the see, the reason I have those, uh, those restrictions is because, you know, uh, racism and stuff like that. I don't I don't want I don't want that but it, it, it filters those words though the ones that we use on a daily basis hey that's what racists say don't they those sons of bitches yeah brother I really am enjoying this game though 
like I really have enjoyed it. What am I talking about? I don't know. I mean, it's really hard. The Breath of the Wild and whatnot. I understand. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Damn! This motherfucker got the strat. Oh, you don't fucked up now, motherfucker. Nope, nope, nope. He's the most OP enemy in the game. So I, what I usually do, what I usually do is because I know how to play the game. I try to do min-max stuff. Like literally, what the hell am I naked for? Because I'm role-playing. I'm role-playing that... Uh, that I need to get shit. It's a scavenger hunt. I like I, I I treat this game like a scavenger hunt. Whatever you get, use what you get. <clears throat> like I started with no armor because I'm a barbarian and one club, but I know where to get a club. I know where to get. I know where to get a uh, a short thingy. Where to get all that? The only problem with this game, the only way you could break this game, like the problem for me personally, is these things, these blue flasks and these, uh, these. The sooner you get them, the better you're off, because you have more health. And also, you have to get the the tears, the cerulean tears. No, no, what is it? The bubbles, the the flask, the wondrous physic flask. I don't even have the wondrous physic flask yet. I need to get out of um, out of limb grave in order to do that. All right, motherfucker, play fire with fire. We're gonna play fire with fire, motherfucker. <laughs> oh shit, he hit me, dude. That guy's OP. Watch out for that, dude. That's a glitch right there, by the way. It's the most annoying glitch ever. It's not a glitch, but why in the fuck can't you hit him, dude? Because he has a fire, dude. It's really annoying. More annoying, you know. I don't even know why that's even a thing. So check it out. I'm dual wielding. I kicked this motherfucker. Get your ass! <laughs> the big boot. It would be nice if I could find some, like, uh... Like big boots for fashion. It's kicking the shit out of these fucks. Get the strong arm of the law. You know what I'm gonna name this build? I'm gonna name them the police off. The big boot. The boot licking. The big boot. Lick my boots. Lick my boots. <laughs> He's gonna be a tyrant police officer. He's gonna be kicking plebs. Violating people's rights. Look, he already has the baton. Fat ass batons and shit. <laughs> Fucking tyrant. I'll probably make him a police officer. So basically, I'm bullshitting around. So you should just bullshit. You're not even playing the game, correct? So what the fuck am I doing? I'm trying to create a novel here, okay? Bird, you ain't going nowhere because I need your wings. <laughs> I need your wings. <laughs> Look at that bird. That <laughs> fucking bro. <laughs> fuck. Dude. Did he drop something? Let's go down and see. Oh, you probably was wondering what happened to Torrent. Oh, Torrent would just, he was just chilling. He's taking a big ass dukes. <laughs> he was still flying. In his last moments, he was like, I still, I can still get, I can still, I can still fucking fix this shit, right? <laughs> like an airplane pilot and shit. I can still fix this. Fix my. Because <laughs> he, Pigeon. You get these kind of shits, you could do some uh, arrows. <laughs> but, you know, he tried. He was doing good. Uh, dude, I should have saw that motherfucker, dude. Oh, well, it's all good. So, yeah, I'm not I'm, I'm not playing. I'm just fucking around. I already, I have the player's guys, dude. 
like for example, dude, it's like I'm the owner. I have a stake in the game. I'm a stakeholder. Stakeholder. S T E A K. <laughs> stakeholder. I'm a stakeholder in uh in Elden Ring. I own two players guides. Yeah, let's beat it right now. Dude, you can't beat this shit right now, dude. This game is stupidly hard. I actually hate it because it's so difficult, dude. <laughs> dude, dude. It, oh, no. Look at the fucking ram. I'm trying to ram my ass. Look at this motherfucker. Look, what the hell is doing? What the dog doing? <laughs> what do you, see, all these things, you could get good arrows. These are just for, uh, for like, uh, arrows. You could build arrows. Construct arrows, build arrows, make arrows. Look at that big ass troll right there. Sometimes these trolls drop their weapons. See, that's the cave over there, buddy. You're probably wondering to. Oh, shit, look at this guy. See, see, let me tell you the lore of these guys. Okay, the best weapon you could get in this game early on is his is his sword. If you're patient enough to defeat him over and over again. The troll weapon. Now, who who are these guys? You're probably wondering to yourself. These are giants of this world. And why why do they have their empty spot in their belly? Oh, bro, I don't want to spoil anything, man, but it is a travesty. It is a travesty of the worst kind of third degree. This this game's lore is really crazy. For example, I don't, I don't try to spoil things or anything like that, but... Hey, for the victor's goals, the spoils, right? And you can imagine what happens to the conquered. Eh? Eh? Yeah, it's fucked. Oh, the bitch didn't drop shit. Okay, there was a guy over here, dude. There was a lonely guy over here doing a little camping in the beach. We're the police officers, and he and we're gonna do the tyrant. We're gonna we're playing uh, as a tyrant because you know the, I'm trying to find my 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 boot, lick my boots. Pleb. Okay, so so uh, see, see what I'm saying? When when I play these games, these uh, Souls games and whatnot, I casually play them and I like to see what arises. That's why I I, I highly recommend that that you play the game, even though it's frustrating. Try to find its identity. What binary identity is it? I'm serious, you know. Try to find his identity. What binary identity is this guy? Well, he's a tyrant, and he's gonna kick the world. He's gonna he's gonna lick my boots. <laughs> lick my boots. He ain't, he doesn't have his boots yet. See, he's a tyrant. This guy's a total fucking tyrant. And that's what I'm imagining right now. Because I got the kick. But it could change at any moment, though. I could create another build because the game gets really hard. I can't just kick the whole game, dude. It's hard as hell. There, see, there it is. There he is right there. We we spotted him. We spotted him, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dude, I done fucked up. I didn't get the telescope from the from the vendor over here in the in the church of Ella. Merchant Collie. Oh, that's Collie. But that's not the one I'm talking about. I'm talking about... They always say Collie, those fucks. I'm talking about the dude that gives you the seamstress needle. He, uh... But yeah, Merchant, he has a uh, binoculars. And I didn't get the binoculars. I done fucked up. Roleplay. Scratched. So there's a guy over there having a little camp. They got penguins. Look, look, for them to have penguins, 
as a geo as a as a geologist as a geophysicist this climate has to be up in the S scandinavians in the scandinavian area i'm guessing more like nova scotia <laughs> that could go fun. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the Scotia area, the upper Mideast, Middle East, the upper East Coast area, the Canada area. See, look at that. Kind of like Greenland, Green Greenland, Iceland or some shit like that. <clears throat> I think that's where they t this game takes place over there, but like Iceland, Nova Scotia. Could be Iceland, to be honest. See there he is right there. We could get his fashion. We'd be we'd be good. Start with the boot licking. Uh oh, dude! Like he has iframes. frames. <clears throat> Mad, he's mad. Damn, he didn't drop anything, dude. You could disrupt them, but uh, sometimes when they're hyper armor, you cannot. You cannot. See, I'm trying to level up. I'm trying to get to the round table, but Melania, Melania doesn't want to talk to me. What do you mean she doesn't want to talk to you? Isn't she supposed to? European vibes? Yeah, it could be. Isn't Melania supposed to talk to you and take you to the round table? <clears throat> like these guys right here, dude. I could summon, I could summon my, my dude right now. Fuck it, why not? <clears throat> Let's get off ty Tyrant. Let's get off Tyrant. Dude, a Torrent. Tyrant. See what I'm saying? It's coming all together. Torrent is actually Tyrant. Fucking, I'm a fucking genius. Donut fam. I'm a, a, I'm a great storyteller, dude. Like, I just created a fucking Tyrant that wants Plebs to lick, lick his boots. And Torrent is Tyrant. And here's here. Uh, hey, look, and I'm a dog. I'm a canine user, dude. And you know the canines are the worst. Shit. I don't have any magic whatsoever, dude. They tore his shit off. They're fucking him up. Look at the disgustingness of it. Dude, dude, dude. Dude. What? I can't get a repulse. Oh, shit. Oh, how the hell was that reach? Look at the little baby wants to fuck me up. It's squirting? It's disgusting, actually. Dude, I'm trying to get in for the repulse, but they don't let me. Oh, yeah. Got it. Got it. 720 damage, brother. Get this baby out of here. No. No. Another repulse, another repulse. Another repulse. Get off of me, bro. The bird. I mean, the bird. The, the, the wolf blocked me from actually going in for the repulse. Get away, get away.
Get that little baby. Get that little baby. Dude, did you see all those ha eggs in inside it? It was... Land octopus ovaries. It's their delicatessen. Oh, shit. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Look at those lone wolves, man. They was taking care of business. I have 2,000. I haven't even leveled up. So you're planning to uh, to go on a great adventure? It's overwhelming, dude. Steam has Steam has the ability to show you where everything is in the in the community the community block tab. They even have where you could get all these uh, flask of uh, crimson tears as well. But I have the player's guide, so I have I have this game locked down. Like, imagine if there's no more internet, right, Mister, Misters and Misses? Imagine that, that we go on a blackout, and EMP charges is, is dropped. What? Are you, how are you gonna play a video game, bro? How in the hills are you gonna play a video game? You can't because it's electricity. So what I decide to do, I'm preparing. I'm a zombie preparer, you know, the zombie preparer kind of kind of people. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> so what I'm preparing myself is uh, basically having uh, uh, games, a player's guide, so I can read them and, and play the games as I read them. So like, like, look, this is my story, dude. I'm, this is my story. So now imagine yourself, like the Twilight Zone. Imagine yourself. In a zombie apocalypse universe, there's no electricity. For whatever reason, you don't have electricity. There is electricity, but you don't have the capacity to have electricity at the moment. So you, how do you entertain yourself? Books, books. Well, I'm the proprietor of Elden Ring Player's Guide. Item description, area locations, everything. Hey, sir, can I play Elden Ring? $20. 20 caps. 20, 20 uh, Nuka caps. Nuka Cola caps. That'd be 20 caps, young man. 20 caps? I only have one cap. Sorry, you need to go out there and forget yourself some more caps. Yeah, I might as well just say a thousand, ten thousand caps, brother. Then you'll fucking kill my ass for the book. <laughs> Wasteland Survivor's Guide. Waste. I want to get those big ones. I want to get those big clubs, brother. Who ha whoever has them drops them. So you're you're probably asking yourself why why are the eyes red? Well, sir, when it's dark, the enemies are are much harder. They go frenzy mad. They have better defense and they hit harder. Red eyes. Here we go. Oh shit! I'm trying to kick him. I want him to block. And then go to the, for the repose. Look at that strong boot of the of the law. Kick that pleb. So this is where I'm at. This is where, I, where the game starts you right here. First step, just go left. And then go to the coastal cave. There's a guy over there that sells uh, stuff very early on. The first merchant you get, the second to first merchant you can meet. And he, he sells 
you again. I don't want it. He, he, this is where I bought the club because I started with the club, so I decided to do wheels so I could do more damage. And I bought the, the short bow because it's the first short bow that you could get. And this is very cheap. And this is the guy that sells, uh, alleviates poison buildup and cures poison if you need. Boluses. Boluses. Stimulating boluses. And then if you're short on smithy stones, you can go up to plus three real quick ASAP. They added this, by the way. They added, um... Smithing stones to vendors and uh, one of the patches because they were just it was just horrendous to get any stones to be honest you had to go into caves and whatnot so they just made it a little bit easier it's just hey man just vendors sell three <laughs> and there you want a broadsword you want to go to broadsword It's gonna cost cost you a thousand eight hundred. That's unfortunate, right? That's all the souls I have. I have three thousand one hundred fifty. That's gonna break my ass. That's like a 1080, 1080 graphics card right there, and come with the money that I have. I have three thousand one hundred fifty. This is one thousand eight hundred. You got shields, and then these little things are note imparted knowledge and brief. I have no fucking idea what these are and whether they're there. And then this expands your uh, your cooking. So when you, uh, like for example, if I buy this, what is it? What could it be? It says Armor's Cookbook. Let's purchase that. Okay. Let's see what that is. Let's see what that is, okay? Not this. Cra item crafting. So every time you buy something, those cookbooks, you look at your uh, your uh, item crafting. I think I should have looked at the item crafting before I purchased it. But what it is is that I think what he sold fire. What was it though? Okay, look, 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 look. I got an idea. Here, this is where it tells you the cookbooks. Let's see, we're cookbook. There it is. Okay, switch display, switch right square. It doesn't tell me what it is. It expands crafting repertoire. But the thing is, it doesn't. I have a problem that it doesn't explain what does it. What do I learn from it? Oh, so it's just the X button. Switch display mid. Okay, record a record of crafting techniques left by an armor. An armor. That's my favorite stat in Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Armor. To serve the great General Radon contains knowledge of dealing with rot, the application of fire in particular. Acquire the knowledge to craft the following fire bone arrow, fire bone arrow fletched, fire bone bolt. Naturalizing boluses. And now let's go back to our crafting. And then let's confirm that. Right, naturalizing boluses. And there we go with the fire bone arrows. The fire fletched arrows. What's, your, what's the difference between the fletched and the fire bone? Fletched animal bone arrows are set alight when shot. Animal bone arrows are set alight when shot. But what does it mean to have the fight the feather? I think they just go farther. Might do more damage. Let's see. 
It doesn't say. And then here's the fireballs. So yeah, dude. So you could literally, literally just, just hang out, you know, in Elden Ring. It's not, it's not really like a Souls game, sir. Do not play it like a Souls game. I repeat, the, it is not a Souls game. It is. It's not. You cannot play it like a Souls game. Let's go see what these letters say. Let's go see what these letters say. Okay, so was it an inventory? Okay, let's go. Well, let's see what we got. Okay, what? Where the? What the hell's? Okay, I got the map there. This is dumb bullshit. Okay, here it is. Okay, it says note land squirts. What the hell's land squirts? Note imparting knowledge in brief. Examine using land squirts. Note sold by a nomadic merchant imparting knowledge in brief. Uh, land squirts are soft where they touch the ground and poison will cause them to rupture. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. We are we are in investigation. You're under investigation, sir. You're being detained for investigation. Did you just heard what I just read? Is that a clue? Land squirts are soft where they touch the ground and poison will cause them to rupture. Oh, that's right. Uh, we haven't met those. We haven't seen the land squirts. Yeah, dude. They, they actually squirt poison. And if you actually throw poison at them, they explode. <laughs> they rupture, as the game says. Note, sold by the nomadic merchant and party knowledge in brief. The heads of the stone digger trolls bear old wounds. Really? I'm going to have to take a closer look at that shit. Excuse me, Mr. Stone Digger. Can I see the back of the... Hold up. Don't hit me. Don't kill me. <clears throat> Gold digger. Get the fuck out of me. What the fuck you looking at me, motherfucker? I just want to see if it's true if you have some injuries in the back of your damn skull head. Get the fuck out of here. So, oh, you wanted to see how do you get to the to the Dragon Covenant, right? Oh, no doubt, no doubt. So from the first from the first step of the whatchamacallit, just get your eyes open, but you're not gonna see see the problem is you need to talk to the seamstress. Oh, oh hold up, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad I remembered. Where is it? We're looking for the seamstress. Here. There we go. Portable set of tailoring tools enable armor alterations at sites of grace. See, the thing is, you need to find that guy to, and then come to this place. And then he'll be in here. He'll be in here. But where do you find him? I know where you find him. And then there's a But he, you have to save him. He's basically a... Um... A bush. You hear somebody calling you during the game. And somewhere about like right Church of Ella. Somewhere about here. Like see where this See where this this yeah 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 yeah. So so imagine you you're 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 going to this bridge. So when you're going to this bridge, I believe you hear somebody calling you and you say, Hey, hey, hey. And then hit the bush, and then he's he become like he's 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 disguising himself as a bush, but he'll call you, talk to him, whatnot, and then he'll be right here. He and he says that they don't fuck them up because he's a he's he's a tailor. He's a, his mother was a sem seamstress, so he's a tailor. He tail he tailors. And they fucked him up. <laughs> they fucked him up. <laughs> and shit you not, dude. 
these fuckers say, what are you? Get your tailing ass. Tailoring ass. I don't know if I'm out of here. So when you get into there, when you get in here, he's fucked. He's fucked, dog. They don't fuck them up. They look like these guys fucked them up. Oh shit, we got a glowstone, whatever the fuck that is. Okay, we're well, time for the big boot. Oh, I can't do the big boot. Oh. Nice. The torch is really OP, by the way. Oh my goodness, that guy does OP damage. I can't find fashion. I can't find anything. I'm trying to find some clothes. I can't find any clothes. You have to play this game. Um, I don't know. You can play however you want. But what I'm saying, when I play this game, I play like a, I role play. I role play. This guy seems to be a, a tyrant cop. <laughs> Ooh, what does he drop? A glowstone. Cause I, I, cause I got the boot. Oh my goodness, it's so dark, dude. Please help me. Oh shit! Look, see that club right there? I want to upgrade to that club. See that club right there, dude? That's my that's my preferred weapon of the game. I, I'll give you my secret. You see that guy sitting right there? With that big ass club that has spikes? That's my preferred weapon. That's what I'm gonna upgrade for the batons. Spike batons, which are which is a club. And the only people that drop it are the motherfuckers that wield it. There's no other way you could get that weapon other than if uh, you farm them. And this is the quickest place that you could actually get it. What the fuck? Oh, hell no. They don't find my ass. And get the fuck on. That's why you got to fight the boss for this area. But I already defeated him last night. I was pre 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 Shit. See, if I could get either of those weapons, that would be good. The lore of that weapon is that they're, 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 it's a mark of honor. He's a capo, like not a cop police officer, but like a mafia capo. It's a, it's a, he's a leader. Only special people get those spike clubs. Boo. If you could drop that big one, I would love it. Either of them, it doesn't matter. Just either, any of them. Only problem is that it's really hard to get because of RNG. So I want to dual wield those spikes. I usually play with those spikes as a PVE because they're very hard to get. People don't use it. I've seen Elijah on Twitch do a barbarian caveman build with it. The only problem with that weapon is that it whiffs a lot. It has a weird, uh, how does, how do you say a weird, um, like, you see how this is straight? It has a little somewhat of an arch. You can see a, a little slant arch on the swing. Somewhat, but that spike one, dude, it's like a, it's a real fucking badass arch. And I'm not talking about bad meaning good. I mean, bad meaning bad. And it whiffs a lot. But I already learned how to compensate, compensate the, the whiff, the whiff angle, I call it. But it is, it happens, especially when you're locked on or something. So I, I usually don't lock on when I use the spy club. 
And the, the the reason I like it is because it's bleed. What the fuck? This guy was like, hey, oh, no, motherfucker. So you, you beat that boss. Oh, shit. Scimitar scrubs, scimitar scrubs. And also, if you noticed, you see how fast it swings? You see how fast I swing? They actually patched all weapons, like slow weapons, to be faster. This shit was pathetically slow. So, overall. I'm gonna I'm replaying the game after it's fully patched. Yeah, like, that's super fast, dude. It used to be really slow, man. It was awful. I mean, it was doable, it was playable, but it, they're trying to be authentic with it. But it just wasn't viable. But look at that now, <laughs> dude. It's like swinging crazy. Lucky, lucky new players are playing with like faster, slower weapons. <laughs> Shit, I was getting wrecked. Slow weapons. So yeah, here you come here, you could get a lot of uh, a lot of uh, that go goat meat. This is where you could um, create arrows a lot here if you kill all these these things here. It's the easiest place to get sticks. Damn it, if they drop them. And here's the bonfire. So that's my pro tip for you, dude. Is uh, just stay on limb grave. See, what I decided to do is uh, I put markers. I put markers over here. Don't go past here. So I got limb grave map. So I figured if I'm going to actually play the game with the player's guide and casually play it and enjoy it for what it is because I, I own steak stock in this game because i have the player's guides both player's guides so there's no point in doing anything fast i literally have the game in my possession and book form i have the architecture every information that the game has to offer i have it up instead of dlc they're going to start selling the dlc later on for a hundred bucks <laughs> dude i think i paid 80 something or 75 dollars for both Elden Ring players guys I would say like 80 75 they were on sale like 35 each or some shit like that you could say 40 40 but there wasn't 40 40 is 80 so it's like 70 something I don't know under 80 I got the players guys on sale so I'm really happy and I was waiting to get it I was waiting to get the player's guides in order to play the game again. So what I decided to do is uh, block this area. Don't go past this marker. And do everything and just look around, enjoy it. Don't go into the fog where I don't have the maps available. Just don't go, just don't do it, see? Like right here, from this point, don't do it. So I'm going to come here and fuck around. Here, don't go past this point. Just don't do it. And then here's uh, the actual area where you need to actually be. Story quest wise. You see how it's di dictating you to go boom, 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 boom. And then that you have to come over here. I don't want to do that yet. There's a dragon. There's a dragon in this water area here. So if you do if you do go to the covenant, say for example you go to the Church of Dragon Communion, I already showed you how to get there. Come here, kill this dragon early on, and then go to the covenant, and you got yourself a first dragon spell. But you need to start putting points in in faith or whatever requirement it is. There's a cave right here that you could go to. And there's an OP weapon that you could get over here another cave around here uh, it's a lot of things you could do brother a lot of things a lot of shit you could get in lamb grave so I'm doing lamb grave yeah I'm doing lamb grave only dude 
So if you want to stay in Limgrave, this is where you go. This is what you do. This is what you don't do. In other words, you could go into this area here and it won't even map up. So just get the Limgrave map and just fuck with Limgrave. Get good in Limgrave, son. I just told you right now there's a dragon in this motherfucker right here. <clears throat> you want to see the son of a bitch? That motherfucker's OP as fuck. <laughs> Kill that fucker. Go get back to the dragon covenant. You got yourself a free spell, brother. But that's not what I want to do. I'm trying to get that, uh, that spite club. I'm trying to get that spite club. What's up, friend? I'm trying to get that spite club. And then put ice on it. Do, do, do. So I probably take the kick away. Ice is really OP in this game. So over there. You could go over there because see the map is good. You can't go any further from here. Try to go into the barriers. Like try to try to. I know I know it's hard. Uh, the the open worldness. But once you start like r roaming around, you really will get familiarized with it, dude. I got this game like literally down, dude. <laughs> That's what I do in Souls games. I I. I I basically like to wander around and get familiarized with the terrain and everything that's OP. What the fuck was that, dude? This shit was crazy. <clears throat> and um, and once I get familiarized with it, it's, uh, I could replay the game over and over again. And I don't need to rush it because I already know what I like and what I don't like. And where I don't want to go and what I don't want to do. You're not even there, dude. You don't know shit. It's too overwhelming. Stay your ass in Limgrave then, you fucking scrub. Stay your ass in Limgrave. Don't get the fuck out. Do Stormvale Castle. And that's it. Limgrave. Remember that shit. And stay your ass in Limgrave then. <laughs> hey, that's scandalous, dude. Stay your ass in Limgrave then. Hey, I'm in Limgrave right now, brother. <clears throat> I'm in Limgrave right now. <clears throat> but where do I go? What do I do? You want to see that dragon? Look, the the. I'm sorry, but I need to. I need to go to town round table. Oh, dude, you see those those birds right there? Those bats? Those bats are bitches. Those are bitch bats. Oh, shit. See, look, this is this is basically uh, the skeleton. The cemetery area in Dark Souls 1 where you go to the skeleton area. You go to this one area, you're fucked. As a noob. See that over there? See that hole over there? It's a literal hole. I don't have any spells or anything. I'm literally fucked. But you're going to see how good of a player I am. You see the uniqueness of my play style. Woohoo! Watch this. And that's how you defeat those. Jumping attack in this game is super OP. Let me tell you that right now. Everything is annoying. Birds are annoying. Ooh, wait until you meet those falcons. Those fighting falcons that have uh, knives tied to their legs. And fuckers drop bombs on your ass as well. They grab they grab barrels of explosive barrels and they shoot the shit out of them. 
It's those fucking birds, dude. So you're probably telling to yourself, what's up with this crucifixions? Yeah, dude. Let me tell you something about Miyazaki, brother. Miyazaki has a fascination with uh, Western philosophies. In Demon Souls, he had like a pontiff with uh, sitting on a sitting on a throne, dead, like in a throne room, and it looks very familiar to something in particular. And now he puts these crucifix, people being crucified. And in the book of um, the player's guide, <clears throat> they crucified um, whoever the fuck the leader of this cult is. It's just I'm, I'm I'm highly thinking that Miyazaki is a fucking um, paganist. Well, I mean, if he's if he's Buddhist, then he believes in like enlightened power, self enlightened power. He seems to be very intrigued to Western philosophies. His, his game's about rebirth. Kind of like reincarnation. It's weird. If you, if you look up the philosophy of uh, of uh, Dark Souls, the, the renewal of life, the returnal of life, like rebirth, the cycle and shit, you know? I looked it up many years ago, and I'm like... And then when I see like crucifix and something to pertain to like ideology or some kind of belief, it blows my mind. I'm like, why do you keep doing that, Miyazaki? You have a fascination with that? I mean, is it a coincidence? There's no coincidences, man. Is it a coincidence that this fucker is putting like crucifixes and shit? And then in Demon Souls, he had that that pontiff guy. Like a Pope and shit. But not really uh, depicting the Pope because of certain circumstances. Why fuck? And this is, and this is all because... M Melina doesn't want to take me to the round table. Like, I literally don't know why she doesn't want to take me to the fucking round table and it's pissing me the fuck off. Like, I don't understand why she didn't take me immediately to the fucking round table. Like, I want to fucking level up, you fuck. Can you level up already? Okay, where's my souls? There they are over there. I literally died right there after killing all of them. <laughs> They're very difficult. You don't want to fall there. That's that's a literal death hole. This waterfall, dude. Like, I literally need to get good. Fuck, man. I'm just basically just um, oh fuck me in the A's <laughs> Oh 
don't know how the hell these fuckers become bats. The game is a great adventure. I already know the game. I know all its ins and outs and stuff. People don't play it anymore. You know, speedrunners don't play it. I know some people, like, some people play it. But not many people play it anymore. And that's good, you know. Let them go away. Let them just do their shit and get the fuck on, you know. Oh, look at this. We made it. Yeah. If you wanna... I mean, I like Baldur's Gate, don't get me wrong. And I wanna go back to it and everything, and I really enjoy the genre. And I'm, I'm really good at those type of games. I really enjoyed it immensely. But I am more of a Souls guy. So, so if I feel like playing Resident Evil, I'll play Resident Evil. If I feel like playing a Souls game, I play a Souls game. Baldur's Gate is such a beautiful game, man. The experience of playing it, it's like, it just was overwhelming. It was just too good. But I don't want to continue playing that right now. Sometimes I feel like playing Souls games, you know? I don't have any range at the moment. So right here, we just basically just just concentrate on the game that you're playing. That's the most important thing, I guess. I was watching. Uh, look, I found the bonfire that I wasn't ever going to be able to find if I didn't come here. You see, that's a win-win right there. And you're saying that it's overwhelming. It's not overwhelming. It's overwhelming at first. I already finished the game. Uh, I did everything that I think I wanted to do. There's certain things that I just can't do in this game. There's this boss that's really difficult. Other than that, I think I got it under control. <clears throat> I've heard of all the cheese and everything. I don't know what's patched. I don't know what's patched. Ah, excuse me. I burped. It, the game is very overwhelming, so it's very, I'm very happy that I actually played the game like the way I do. I like the way I play the games because I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, I, I could get OP really quick right now, dude. Like, I could literally get OP in 10 minutes. <laughs> I did. I literally could get OP in 10 minutes, brother. But I'm holding back. Baby. Baby, hold back. I should have never let you go. I was wrong. Baby, come back. 1970s. So right here, dude. This right here. This right here is nothing. <laughs> hey, dude. You can't trust people on the internet, brother. You know what I'm saying? Putting little signs up in that bitch. Probably talking about, come on through, come on. Th Wait a minute, did I sit at the bonfire? Hell yes, I don't know. 
seaside ruins. See, the, 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 the I like doing like, uh, let's get all the bonfires. Let's get all the Christmas. What the hell's y'all doing? Oh, fuck. I'm fucked. Okay, they, they, they don't fucking me up hard. I'm gonna heal this time. I'm gonna get in my fishes. Uh, fishes ain't coming out. Come on. Oh, fuck, that guy got range. I'm healing. <clears throat> got him. See, can we get that club though? Can we get that club though? That's the question. This motherfucker's the one that fucking me up. Got him. Got him with the running attack. All right, here we go. Get this fuck. Okay, okay. One is dead. Let's get this one right here. Let's get the one with the little club, because we want the guy with the spike club. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Okay, let's go see what this guy has to offer. A string. Can you please drop that weapon, sir? That's the weapon I want. Kick your ass, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Look at that. Broke his poise. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, he looked at me before he died. Did you see his eyes? Did not get the weapon, though, unfortunately. I haven't even leveled up and shit, and I'm, I'm, I'm super OP in the beginning area. Why is that? Stop showing off, dude. You know you know about game. You know you're a Souls guy, dude. I fucking got the player's guide. I know what to do, what to get, where to get, how to get, everything. So with that knowledge, I'm just enjoying the game. Crab eggs. What the hell is crab eggs? Oh shit! Look at these fucks. They're coming back and fuck with me. Why they hitting me though? See, so notice the problem with this weapon. With if they back up, you can't hit it. Basically, short range. Yep, that's the problem with it. What the hell are they doing, chilling over here, dude? Look, as soon as I get a fashion or talk to Melania to send me to the... Look, there's a certain uh, bonfires that the sacred ashes or whatever those things are called, the seaside ruin bonfire. A certain amount of bonfires that you get, she tells you, hey, can you go to the... Can you go to the, the round table? Like, she bitch doesn't even have... I don't even have round table in this motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm just that's the thing that's perplexing me I don't know why I can't go to the bonfire I just found the bonfire I mean the round table why can I go to round table I don't know why I can't go to round table yes you do you got the player's guide yeah but I've been playing this game for a long time, so why this shit don't work? <laughs> why this shit don't want to work, though? Don't make no sense. I'm about to get some coffee and call it, call the stream. I want to stream all day, but I'm getting a fucking neck ache. I don't know what it is. I think it's just my posture. <laughs> I think it is my posture, dude. Posture, please.
dirty birds. Dirty, 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 dirty. Hit me. Damn, no. <laughs> right in mid flight. Missed the items though. What the fuck is this shit? Some kind of new area where you could actually jump to? Fuck me in the ass. I found a shortcut. A shortcut, boss. I found ourselves a shortcut. So let me ask you a question. Do you think, do you think you could make it over there to the other side? Can you make it to the other side? I'm so sad to the other side. Is that a source of doors? A sore song? That's a doors song. Just trying to check what's over here and see if I could come back up. If not, we ain't going down there. And I think we could go down there. Nice. What do we find over here? What 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 are we going to find? What the dog doing? Oh, it's one of those little lilies. Those little trina lilies. They come in handy if you want to make some spell shit. Sleeping spell shit. What the hell, them Trinolillas? Brother, you such a scrub ain't knowing shit. I already, I've already done everything in this game, dude. Someone in chat was saying, why are you always starting a new playthrough? It's not like I'm just going to play one playthrough. You can't figure everything out in one playthrough. Once you once you uh, find out a certain thing. Oh, hell, hell yeah, brother. This motherfucker just came out of nowhere. What? Bitch, you can't get do nothing around here. Any of your friends around here? What is in here? This is my shit. A my pillage. The son of a bitch. Ain't still ain't got no fashion. I ain't found no weapons. I ain't found no fashion. I can't wear shields because I'm dual wielding. Basically, ladies and gentlemen. I can't even get to the round table to even level up. Got all these souls at the risk. What the fucking shit? These motherfuckers just coming out of nowhere. I'm just trying to ride my horse up in this bitch. Better not be nobody creeping. They better not be nobody creeping up like that again. What? I hear... What What do I spy? What do I spy? This is a nice little area. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Look at these motherfuckers. Look at these motherfuckers. Look at that motherfucker dog. We're about to creep up on his ass and backstab his bitch ass. But your friend ain't gonna do shit. Get the fuck. They just don't listen, bruh. They just, oh damn, there's some more motherfuckers over there. Found myself. I thought that was a cave to the left of me. Oh, there's some shit up in here. There's some shit up in here. They don't see me. They don't see me. I'm gonna backstab the shit out of this fuck. All right, it's on now. 
Let's go get this fuck right here. Right, right. Let's get this one. Alright. Will he will he drop the spite club that I need? The the worst part about the spite club is that it liter literally does not look like the one that he's actually trying to hit me with. It, they look as small as, as these baton clubs that I have. Just does not drop. It just does not freaking drop. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we hit jackpot here. Something's up over here, right? What is in this? What is in this? Fashion? Oh, shit. No fucking way, dude. I never knew that there was a fucking large club that you could get it here, dude. That's fucking dope. Way down here, dude. Way down here, brother. Bonk club. Right, right under this little st stupid shit. <laughs> <clears throat> So if I could get another one, let me see if I could wield that though. I need 22 strength, but let's do wield it. See what happens. Nope, can't do it. Oh my goodness, see how fast that shit is? They literally patched that. I never seen anything so fast since day one. <laughs> Dude. I think the R2 is the same. But the R1s are faster. They were too slow, dude. They weren't even viable. Wow. But I can't use it, but I do like it. I like using these weapons, dude. I can't believe I got it, dude. Like, it was one of the goals that I had. Is like this one, the club, the reinforced club. Oh, shit. That is so cool. I like it. I just can't. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't go to the round table. Look at all those souls I have. Okay, so we're going to go on top over here. What the fuck? Where we at now? Damn, now we way on top over here. This is a cool weapon you could get early on, brother. I bet you it does more damage than the stupid little club I'm wearing. I, it's, I can't even wield it, and I'm still wielding it, and it's doing 103 damage. It's like non, non-usable weapon, but still causing damage. What's up? Still causing damage. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness. No way. No, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Uh -uh. Well, we're going to do it. We're going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. We're jumping down here. Oh, damn. It's called sensationalism. When you fucking exaggerate shit <laughs> like I'm doing right now. Why are you exaggerating so much? She didn't, you just dropped up a little fucking ledge. That shit was fucking epic. <laughs> Dude. That wasn't epic, bro. That was pathetic. Oh, come on, man. Why you bullying me, brother? Why you bullying me, brother? Come on, man. Stop bullying me. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to try something extremely drastic. 
We're gonna see if we can make it over there. Over there on that side. Not this side. That side. Well, damn. That failed completely. <laughs> Hold up. There might be there might be a trick around here. Let's go over here. Woohoo! Oh, look at that! Is that fashion? Dude, I need to find some fucking fashion. Golden rune, hell yeah, brother! <laughs> dude, that's it's like that's just one fucking little rune, dude. What the fuck, dude! I'm on um, I'm on an exciting road trip. Damn it, GG. I'm on an I'm on a. Uh, an exciting road trip, dude. Everything I see is like, oh shit. <laughs> <clears throat> Everything I see is so exciting. <laughs> Everything is so exciting and interesting. Oh shit, look at that over there. You gotta go over there. You gotta go over there. I gotta go over there. I think I go over there. Damn. Oh shit, there's some shit over there. Lucky motherfuckers. As long as I'm not able to fucking level up, at least get some weapons that do some damage. Find a bonfire, and maybe Melina will say, Oh, it could be a bonfire. How the hell you can't level up, dude? Can you explain to me why you can't level up? Go on. What the hell this motherfucker? What the hell this motherfucker doing over here? Oh, you done fucked up now, brother. Okay, so... So I done fucked up. Oh, you know what over here, dude? You see this spell right here? Drop your ass. Royal House Scroll. That's that's beautiful. Um, see, you could get some beautiful spells off of that, brother. Oh, look at that, dude. Easy peasy, man. Starlight Shards. This is what you need for some bullshit for... For Ronnie's quest and whatnot, or whatever his fucking name is, the the mage fuck. You know what? It's not working out with that. So, <clears throat> so we're going. Going back the way it was. See, yep, there we go. We got the kick back in order. There we are. We could put the kick on that big ass fucking club. This guy wants to get backstabbed so hard. Get fucked. You want to get kicked, son? Oh shit, he's doing the hyper armor bullshit. And poise break. Oh no, you didn't. Lord Sorn's bolt. Still no fashion. Still no fashion. Okay, so that's why. I, where? Okay, we're gonna get this guy. He's just fucking me up. Get your ass out of my ass. Mm -hmm. No, you didn't, sir. How dare you prepare yourself in a position, put yourself in a position to endanger yourself. Don't put yourself in it dangerous situation 
for you and danger yourself. That's pretty good, huh? See? Yeah, dude, you get all the books, you get all the spells, those books that I just got, the cooking books to uh, craft. I just picked up a great spell book <clears throat> that literally uh, gives you good spells if you give it to uh, <clears throat> a sorcerer. <clears throat> whoever, whoever you give the book is the one that's going to know how to sell you those those spells. So it's up to you who you want to give it to. I should have given it to the to a certain a certain certain someone. And then that is You see what? <laughs> You're probably telling yourself, what the fuck's going on, Truth? You ain't got no fashion. You ain't got no skills. Look, I'm level one, dude. I'm level one, and I'm over here just decimating these dudes because of kick. <laughs> it's because kick very early on is OP, dude. Because you disrupt their attacks. Not the hyper attacks. You have to roll away from the hyper attacks because those things are unblockable, only dodgeable. You can't disrupt their hyper attacks, unfortunately. You can tell it's a hyper attack because when you do. What the hell's. Oh, hell no, brother. I give, you, I give you credit on that, motherfucker. See, and then when they're definitely shielding. When they're definitely shielding. Kick. Guarantee. Guaranteed a. Repulsed, repulsed attack. But when I kick, I kind of risk that they're gonna swing. Sir, what are you guys searching for? Stop digging in the trash, you dirty fucks. Uh, more runes, more shit. Are you gonna call people? No, you're not, motherfucker. He's blocking. He's going for the repost. And then one shot him. <laughs> I did. I don't know why I can't find any fashion. Why is this so easy? Like, dude, I'm not even getting hit. <laughs> It's just basically I I uh, I found out what's what's really good early on and stuff. It's basically kick for the shield dudes, <laughs> and um, and just get this early on just to do wield. Oh shit! This guy's tough. See that? See that? That's an unlockable. Uh, that's that's a hyper armor one. And then I got him, see? Okay, now we're gonna go. He's hyper. Gonna call my birds. My, I'm gonna call them because we need distraction. <laughs> Dude. Now you understand? It was getting a little bit sketchy there, so I ended up getting getting them. You know what, dude? I think I need to kill this fucker by a running attack. And then fuck him up. There we are. Yeah, it was pretty tough, but the the whatchamacallums did really good for me. Let's go get these nobles.
Get that motherfucker. You ain't, just gonna, you ain't gonna escape that easily, motherfucker. That little bitch, yeah. All right, but thank you. They really, those uh, summons really like help with the stagger. Uh, it's really nice that they do that. And what do we have here? A shield? The great epi. Oh, they killed the fucking horse. Of course. So, this great AP, it's the best weapon that you could get early on. Like, this is a game changer here, dude. I don't know if you ever heard of it. It's a secret OP weapon. What do you mean by secret? What do you mean secret? Well, a lot of people don't know about it, and they did videos on it and everything. And I used it, I used it once, and I mean, I was fifty-fifty with it. I'm not saying it's bad. I understand what they mean. How it's pretty nice in the beginning. You could, it got some good range and shit. They got the good pokes. Right, <laughs> the running our, the running our poke here. Oh, look at that. See what I'm saying? No, it's not S tier or anything like that, but it's it's really nice having it early on. Get yourself a nice poke weapon. But I can't wield it. It requires a lot of shit. So I can't do it. So literally, I am a barbarian scrub. And see, I'm just searching the area. Searching the area as I go along. There goes a dumbass horseman. There goes my wolf. Wolf. What are we having for dinner, Woof? Why do you always go and get Woof? What Woof won't do? I guess. It wants me to drop there to go to the other area, but I don't want to. I don't want to go to the other area. I want to stay in Lamgrave until I get. Until I get the ability to go to round table and level up. I don't know why I can't level up though. I, like, how do you go to round table? How do you go to the fucking. Oh shit, look at these. Okay. I think at this point, I think I just need to just run and get these. These are good for like popping souls. You don't want these to get you. Stop, I just said that I want you to get you, you fuck. And there's a wolf. There. That's all I wanted. Whoa. Take it easy. Oh, we got these right here. Why am I not fighting? I'm running low on... Uh... Nestus Flask. I don't even have a Nestus Flask. Oh, come on. All right, 
right, so I got, got that. I have 5,000 souls, it's just good. What the hell, brother? What's he doing alone? Fashion, fashion. Oh, a glenstone staff, brother. I could buy, I could buy some shit. I can't get down there. I can't get down there. You can't. That guy literally dropped the glenstone staff. Isn't there a bonfire around here? Like here. I know there is. Behind it, I believe. to know what I need to go I don't have any more SS flask I need to travel I need to travel to a bonfire But I know for sure that there might be one. Oh no, it's probably like a, a Marika. Seems to be a boss in here. Oh, shit. of America you know what Marika I I didn't have any heals day so that's a big problem isn't it the little damage that I'm doing but let's do it again though now with heals huh See, there's the bonfire right there. I have 6,000 souls. What's in here? Oh, 
it's it's her. Tarnished, are we? I am. Why are you here? I want to learn sorcery. I dare say you're pro well, perhaps one must try. I was ex as a revile. You still? I still want to learn. <laughs> Very well, but I refuse to anticipate grief. Study sorcery. Let's don't pebble. Okay. Now, can I use. The question is can I use. This and then can I use the glenstone pebble? I luckily I just got that that um, sorcery staff. Oh look, I could level up, but then she hasn't sent me to go to the ultra ultra. Oh, I got no garments. Sword chest, nah, it's fine. Memorize spell. I only have one. <laughs> Good. Look at that. Now I finally got a little range real quick. Dude, I almost fucking hit her. Hit her, hit her. Well, we didn't find any fashion on this episode, ladies and gentlemen. But we did find a glenstone staff that Gracious, graciously dropped for us, unbeknownst to us, and then we found Selena. Her name is Selene, and then we got ourselves an immediate a magic range, the lowest spell you could get. <laughs> and then we got the got the OP kick. I think we could kick and spray. Kick and spray. <laughs> kick and spray. <laughs> See, imagination. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I got a great one. I got a great one. I keep doing that. Fuck. Okay, uh, let's quit the game. That's enough for today's episode. We'll continue this on a later date. See where our tyrant kicker, a police officer, bootlicker. He's a tyrant. He's a Karen. He's a Darren. He said he's a Darren bootlicker. That's what I'm gonna name him. He's a Darren bootlicker, imitating his his bosses, the tyrant cops. Lick my boots, pleb. All right, man. BRB on another episode. Bye.